Okay. I'd like to thank everyone for uh, the past few recent subs I've gotten. Again, despite the fact I haven't hardly uploaded anything lately. I do appreciate it. Uh, would be nice if like all 80 some subscribers did look at the videos, but what are you gonna do? You know? Uh, anyway, um, got a battle hero with my good friend, The Second Coming. Uh, this battle was part of his Christmas special that he, uh, that he was working on. And, uh, so I really appreciate you making me a part of that second. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, I haven't, uh, battled as much, uh, lately and all, but I'm, I'm in the process of maybe making some new pokes and all, and maybe getting back out there and doing some more battles and hopefully have some more videos up soon. Anywho, um, this battle here... Uh, actually, I guess it was supposed to be you, you, yeah, yeah, um, anyway, using a couple Pokemon I have not used for quite a while, um, uh, being like, uh, Umbreon right there, which I haven't used since Black and White, really, but it was one of my oldest and best pokes, and it's actually where I got my YouTube name from, uh, Physical Reiku, if you ask Physical, I say, why the hell not, uh, it's different. If I'm going to do a legend, I'm not going to do it standard and all like everyone else does. I'm going to, you know, throw something else out there and see how, see how it does. And, uh, it, it has its pros and cons like anything else, but, yeah. And whatever. Uh, uh, Yon Mega, which is, uh, a somewhat newer one, but I've never actually used it. It's a tinted lens one with, uh, Life Orb, and, uh, I figured it'd be a good battle to, uh, test it out in. And, so let's see, I think... Everything else, I guess, is kind of standard. I have a mix Embor, which... And I can dish out some pretty decent hits, or, but it can't really take them, of course. But, oh. Uh, uh, his team, you know, he has a Zapdos, which I freaking hate Zapdos. Damn you, second. Um, he has an Umbreon, too, so I think that's pretty cool, because I have no idea what the heck his Umbreon could carry. Uh, being that second, you know, second can do all kinds of stuff you never expect. And uh, if you're looking for a decent, fun battle, second is the guy to go to because he's just... He plays for the pure fun of it and for the hell of it. And, you know, he, he does his own thing with uh, his movesets and all, kind of like I do. And he does some stuff even I wouldn't think of. Or So, I mean, you got to give the man credit, you know, for some of the stuff that he does. I mean, if, if you want proof, go watch some of his videos and, you know, you'll see how his stuff actually does work. Um, there are times, of course, where, you know, we all bomb with some of the ideas that we have, but we just need the right situation. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got Stealth Rocks, who are on, uh, Empoleon, uh, probably a T-Spiker with a Needle <clears throat> Queen there. Flygon might be Scarfed, maybe. And, uh, Togekiss, that might be a somewhat special set, or it could be his physical one, not really sure. But, in any case, let's get this battle started. And, oh help if I push that. Alright. Jesus in the form of a girl. Hmm. Anyway, okay, enough of that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send out Archeops first because since he probably has Stealth Rocks on his team, I'm just going to get whatever damage I can with this thing. And I know I'm not going to KO with Earthquake, but I will do a good chunk of damage. So either he will hit me with something or possibly T-Spikes to so go and get that out of the way. He does go for Ice Beam, and that's going to put me in defeatist uh, range, unfortunately, but I do carry the Endeavor. <laughs> so, even at this range, his Needle, uh, Needle Queen will probably die to another Earthquake and or Acrobatics, but he makes a good play, switches out uh, Umbreon here, and uh, yeah, I was just going for Broke there and using up my Flying Gem, and that's only going to do about a heavy quarter to Umbreon right there. Now, I'm figuring he's going to go for Wish or something like that, so I'm going to go and go for Endeavor there. And he does go for the Wish, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, either he's going to switch out and possibly put out another Pokemon that can, you know, KO me because it's faster or or something. But uh, I overpredict. I go for Endeavor again just in case, and he goes for Charm, which I, yeah, would not have thought of that coming from Umbreon because no one ever uses Charm. But... That, I, I find that pretty awesome, because I think that's one of the moves people should use more often. That, and like Attract, and a couple other moves. Anyway, going to go into Yon Mega here, as he also switches out into Empoleon. I thinking, okay, this might be a good test and all, to see how much Tinted Lens Life Orb Yon Mega can do. He goes for Stealth Rocks, and I didn't pay attention right there. It's like, okay, Empoleon went first. That most likely means it's Scarfed. 
I did not even... That did not even cross my mind. So what do I do? What do I do? I freaking switch out. Instead of staying in, like I should have, I was a real derp, and just, you know, switched out where, and death foddered Archeops for no apparent reason whatsoever. He actually uh, switched Needle Queen in as death fodder himself, and I just gave him a free death and free Stealth Rocks damage. So, way to go me. I mean, it's pitiful. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I just get freaking raped by Stealth Rocks there. <laughs> Oh, well, I uh, go for Roost, and uh, figured, okay, I want to try and salvage, you know, you know Mega, at, at least somewhat, so at least if I have to switch it in again, it will live and hopefully get a hit on something else if need be. And he does go for Toxic Spikes, which I'm eh, not too worried about. I, in hindsight, I probably should have just gone ahead and killed him, but, yeah, th there goes me trying to pull up fancy moves. And I go for Giga Drain thinking, okay, that should kill at that range. I got the life orb. I'll get life back. It, no. No. He still lives. Gets up another layer of, uh, of T-Spikes. So, yeah. I just let him get free Stealth Rocks damage, a free KO, and now a free double layer of Toxic Spikes. Um, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> But, oh, it's it's good for testing, and that's exactly what I was doing, so now I know. Um, I went for uh, Ancient Power there just because it was kill, and hopefully would get the boost, and I actually did. So, Ancient Power is definitely my move. It, it just freaking loves me. Because almost every time I use it with Togekiss, yep, I get it. He does go for Extreme Speed, so this is telling me it's his uh, Choice Banded uh, Hustle Togekiss, which, I mean, again, that did pretty good damage right there. And uh, I'm going to go for Bug Bust, see how much this does, and it's going, going, ah, uh, and it's almost shy of killing. But, I mean, that did a lot right there. Uh, unfortunately, due to Life Orb, uh, I'm going to die this turn. But, Young Mega actually did a pretty good job, despite the Stealth Rock rapage going on there, and, you know, getting the crap kicked out of him. Um, anyway, I'm going to send in Crocodile here, figured okay. Might get a hit on something. I was a little unsure what to go for at first. I go with Aqua Tail. Uh, he actually misses with Extreme Speed, so that that was a big help right there. And thankfully, Aqua Tail hits. Uh, that's a move I just randomly put on this one uh, to see how well it'd work. It's yeah, kind of a testing move. So thankfully, I get a Moxie Boost, but I'm thinking uh, it probably doesn't matter because he's just going to send Napoleon in here, and that's going to be you know. You know, the end of poor Croc here. But no, he goes into Zapdos. I'm like, oh, I have a chance. I go for Stone Edge, and thankfully I'm faster, which I'm a little surprised on. But I also carry the Rock Gem on this uh, this version of Crocovile. And that is a damn dead Zapdos. I I'm kind of surprised that Zapdos was slower, but I I'm not complaining. <laughs> so now I have two Moxie Boost, two Pokemon out of the way. I'm feeling pretty good right now. At first I thought, oh, maybe he didn't switch in Napoleon because it just has, like, Hydro Pump or something like that, and he's afraid of missing. But now he sends in Napoleon, and he does go for the Hydro Pump, but he does not miss. If he did miss, then that might have been good game. But, Crocodile, you did your job. I am proud of you. It, I love that po Him and uh, Archeops are, like, two of my favorite Pokemon from uh, Black and White. Uh, they may not be the best, but I just think they're they're pretty cool looking. They're awesome. Um, anyway, uh, I switched in uh, into Umbreon here because I figured, okay, I can wall his uh, Hydro Pumps and kind of make him uh, waste them, more or less, if he wants to stay in and do that. And then I, I t totally forgot about him having Umbreon as well. I was just, I was derping all over the place in this battle. Uh, but, um... I was hoping that he would actually stay in here and let me get a Toxic on him. I I figured my set was pretty uh, standard or, you know, everyone was just used to it. So he would predict that. I was, I don't know, just kind of worried about him not staying in. Because uh, Toxic on an Umbreon is is pretty crucial sometimes because they're such freaking little tanks. I mean, they just keep going and going and on. It's hard to take them out sometimes unless you have the right Pokemon to, you know, stump them out. So, thankfully, I get the Toxic on him. That's going to be a big help later on. And what do I do here? I believe I switch out after this. 
Yes, I do. Good old trusty night storm there. And I'm going to go into Slaughter, which actually is a, kind of an inside thing. I think it came from Super Blah long time ago, uh, like right before uh, Black and White actually came out, and we were all talking about what we were going to name our starters, and uh, I think it was a little bit of a joke as far as uh, you know, what to name Tepig, and that's what uh, Blah said. If I'm not mistaken, it could have been someone else, but I think it was him. Anyway, I was really unsure what to do. I thought he would go into uh, Flygon, but... I figured, okay, I'm just going to go for the stab move here. I'm going to go for Flare Blitz. And thankfully, he does go into an Empoleon. But because this is a mixed slot, uh, slaughter... Mixed. Yeah, this is a mixed slaughter here. Yum. Uh, it's a mixed Imbor. I was actually a little afraid of it not KOing. Because if it's, you know, if a Pokemon's mixed, then you're losing a little bit on both fronts to, you know, compensate for it being a both physical and special attacker. But uh, thankfully, it takes it out. I'm um, really glad I went for that move, because, uh, I mean, my other moves are, like, Head Smash, Grass Knot, and Scald. So, that was... I figured, if anything, if he did send out Flygon, you know, I might get a burn on it. So, no. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I get taken out to an Earthquake. That was a crit. Don't really think the crit mattered. Uh, I send in Tiger Bolt here, and he thinks I'm going to be, uh... Uh, uh Hidden Power. I, I, I don't know why I just brain farted right there. Um, Hidden Power Ice. So he switched out, and uh, goes into Umbreon, and yeah, this is where I reveal the Iron Head, and I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll get a flinch. Uh, I, actually, I actually forgot to put Wild Charge on this thing. It does carry Spark. Uh, way back when I made it, that was mainly to uh, paralyze something, more so than just do damage, and uh, Iron Head was to, you know, hopefully get a flinch and or Parahax on it. But unfortunately, I don't get any flinches here. He does charm me, which is not going to help my case any better. But it is going to go down to where it's poison after this. So now, it's just down to Flygon, Raikou, and Umbreon. But I'm not expecting to really live long where we're at, you know, at this point. I'm going to go for our Iron Head, because that's about the only thing I can do him to do the most damage. I, I don't think Hidden Power Grass would really do much more than that. But, um, unfortunately, yeah, he doesn't flinch there either. He's gonna E-Quake me, and goodbye, Tiger Bolt. So now, it's gonna be pretty tricky where to try and beat him. He's got a decently healthy Flygon there. I've already sustained a bit of damage. I have Toxic Poison. Yeah. And he has Super Power. When I saw that, I'm like, oh, I'm done. Good game, sir. But I live with 29 HP, still a little skeptical, even though I have Moonlight. Um, this is sometimes why I prefer Moonlight over uh, Wish. But, um, yeah, it just depends on your situation and which, uh, and what you need the Pokemon for. You know, between Wish and Moonlight. But I figured, what a way to end the battle, whether I win or lose, you know, with, you know, my last Pokemon being Umbreon, one of my, you know, oldest and best Pokemon... And one I haven't used for a while. I figured this this is the best way to end the battle right here. So uh, he's going to keep going for superpowers, and I'm hoping that if he keeps doing that, at some point I can actually start to you know use payback on him, because that way I won't have to curse up and uh, can kind of stall him out a little bit. But then again, the toxic the, the toxic damage I cannot speak uh, is really starting to get to me now, <clears throat> right now. Excuse me. So, yeah, um, this is, this is going to be a little tricky here. I'm going to try and get Toxic on him. I was a little worried about uh, going for Toxic and or Curse, because if I go for Curse, yeah, that's fine and dandy, but that still won't help my, you know, attack but so much unless I get, like, another one up, and I don't think I can do that within time uh, from taking damage and also taking Toxic damage. So I figured, okay, I've got to, like, Toxic this thing and hope it doesn't miss. Because that's the only way I'm going to get him down low enough. And if he starts using superpower again, then I can hopefully take it out. And you see, U-turn is not doing that much damage. And also, it's, it's helping me a bit. And thankfully, I get the toxic kit. So still a bit of a waiting game at this point. I, I really didn't think I was going to be able to uh, last this long at all. Or... 
or stall as much as I have. But that's my little nightstorm there. There's my little tank. I'm actually going to be working on a new one here pretty soon. And hopefully get some uh, new Pokemon uh, made and have some more battles. If I can get some decent people or to uh, battle me. We're up to 15 minutes here. Good God. <laughs> okay. So we're starting to go down to Toxic. I'm still trying to bide my time a little bit, but it is getting a little little iffy there because I'm really starting to get drained by Toxic. And here he goes for another superpower, so that's uh, minus three defense. And yeah, th after like another uh, Toxic damage or two, I'm going to go for a payback and hopefully that will kill because I am running out of Moonlights. So 200, yeah, 200 HP, 220, yeah, <laughs> things are not looking too pretty for me right now. But he's uh, at a range now where I think, I think now that I should be able to take him out. And actually now that he's using uh, superpower, I'm most definitely sure the next uh, move or will actually take him out. And here it is. See, this whole time, a second didn't think I had any attacking move right there. Um, I, I figured he would have uh, predicted the payback with, you know, curse and, and whatnot. But uh, I guess he figured he, I might have something different where considering it's me. But that is good game second. That was a long, good battle. Awesome epic stall war right there to the end. So, and all that good stuff. Um... Sorry the video is so long. I thank you all for watching. And uh, definitely go check out his video of this. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll leave uh, the link in the description below. And uh, check out the rest of his battles. I mean, if nothing else, just sitting there listening to Second is... It, it, I don't know. It's a... I don't even know how to put it. it you'll have a good time. Um, other than that, uh, might actually work on a couple of legendaries. I was a little... Uh, upset over to hear that Genesect was uh, put into Ubers, but at the same time, yeah, I've read a lot of people saying that they're tired of seeing it on every team and seeing the Scarfed one, and you know, it's got a massive move pull, great stats, so, you know, maybe I shouldn't be, you know, complaining about that, but yeah, but uh, Black Kieran being uh, moved to OU, that, that could be kind of neat, because I actually like Black Kieran more than uh, the white one, uh, mainly just for looks, but... You know, I don't know. I, I just like it. So I might actually mess with that because I actually like Black Kieran. Anyway, thanks for watching. You guys take care. And if I don't see you, uh, let's see, if you don't hear from me before Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone, and all that good stuff. Peace.